guys, it's your boy Mackie, back at it again with another vlog. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mackie, back at it again with another. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mackie, back at it again with another vlog. And today we're gonna be talking about the Sennheiser MKE 440 stereo microphone. Before that, if you guys don't know, I am part of this year's. Sennheiser Sound Heroes. I've been working closely with Sennheiser, trying out their their products, testing them out. Um, like these headphones right here, very nice in ear headset. If you guys want to check out their products, they're available on Lazada. The link is down below. Just check it out. You don't have to buy anything. But if you do actually purchase something, you have a chance to win a trip to Germany with uh, two of the Sennheiser Sound Heroes. You just have to purchase at least a minimum of one thousand pesos worth of Sennheiser products you can just get one pair of headphones and you already have a chance to uh, to join two of the Sennheiser sound heroes to Germany for five days and four nights nice so anyway back to this vlogs topic this directional stereo microphone from Sennheiser basically this is one of their mobile video recording devices which is catered for DSLRs, also mirrorless cameras. So you could say this is this is really a mic for vlogging, for, for on-the-go video shooting. I really, really wanted to try this out because compared to all the other mics I've used before, it has two internally shock-mounted shotgun mics inside here. And what does that do? Um, because it has two shotgun mics, it actually picks up audio from the right and the left so automatically as you're recording your video a stereo sound is automatically generated onto your video currently actually listening to my built-in microphone in the canon atd and i think it's also a stereo microphone but the thing is you know with these dslrs they don't really actually have that you know crisp sound that you're, you're you want to get out of your microphone and this one really really does the job it also has this um setting here where uh you can actually choose your audio levels and it also has a low pass filter which is good for when you're outside and there's noise that you want to cancel out the low pass filter really helps just to eliminate those high sounds and just keep your vocal range in check so now i'm going to put on the sennheiser mke 440 on top of my camera and attach it and you are now going to be listening to the sound coming from this microphone. Now you guys are listening to the audio that's being recorded on the MKE 440. Now if you can't hear the difference, um, it's either you have really bad speakers or you could try to um, you know use your earphones and whatever and to see the difference between this sound and the previous sound a while ago. Now I also had a chance to try this out yesterday when I was doing that vlog I mentioned in the last episode flashback just that knowledge that they have over sound is top of the charts oh my gosh a rainbow bruh 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 end of flashback and it's really such an awesome mic for outside for on-the-go shooting check this out because it's recording stereo sound, if I move towards this side of the frame, make sure you're listening with your headphones. If I move towards this side of the frame, you'll notice that my voice is mostly coming from the left now because I'm towards the left. And when I move towards this side of the frame, you'll notice that my voice is coming more from the right side because I'm on the right side of the frame. And so far, this mic is the only DSLR uh, video mic that I've encountered that can do this, that can do internally ready stereo audio. And that's something that's mind-blowing. Nowadays, especially uh, as a filmmaker, when I try to make videos, I, I try to immerse my audience into where I am. I try to make sure that they know um, what sounds are there because as much as I know I only do visuals, I'm, I'm great at, at, at creating uh, shots, good shots and everything like that. But then sound plays such a big part in the video experience that you can't deny the fact that when you have good quality audio such as this, it just changes the game. It changes the way one experiences the video. So now what I really like about this product is the fact that 
you know, it has an all metal housing, which is something that I've only encountered with this product alone. I've never had a lot of DSLR shotgun mics before, and this one is, I think, my third, the third one I've tried, but most of the others I tried from a different brand. <laughs> um, have plastic housings and this one has a metal housing which means that you know you could go out and shoot outdoor shoot uh, while you're trekking while you're hiking while you're doing some urban exploring at the same time it's very compact at first I thought it was gonna be huge like like this per mic but apparently it's just like half that size and right off the bat I feel like um, so far this has been the best mic I've used personally and I'm not just saying that because I'm a Sennheiser sound hero. Okay. I've had other brand mics before and the pro level as well. And to me so far, um, because of the fact that it's stereo, it's just on another level. It's amazing! If you guys want to invest on this kind of product, check out the link down below. They are selling this on Lazada. Along with the other one, the MKE 400, which is the um, lower end version of this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the low pass filter so you guys can check out the difference. This is the audio outside without the low pass filter on. I will take off the mic now just to show you guys the difference between this mic and my built-in mic on the camera. Alright so now you guys are listening to the built-in mic of my camera. I believe this camera mic is not as crisp as uh, the audio coming from the Sennheiser MKE 440. Um, what I noticed is right off the bat, I can hear my voice more on the mic. And that's something I really need on a vlog because, you know, most of the time I'm just talking to you guys on the camera, so that's what I need. Now I'm gonna put back the mic and I'm gonna turn on the low pass filter so you guys can see the difference. So now the low pass filter is on, uh, what you may notice is that if you're listening with earphones on, the, the, high sounds that you were the, the high sounds that you were hearing earlier, they're cut off because it is a low pass filter. What that means is that the lower sounds are the ones passing through the threshold that the um, microphone limits. So uh, I'm not really sure about the technicals, I'm not really a sound guy. Uh, as I said, I'm more of a cinematographer. but. It's really good in terms of, especially like for me, I have a lower voice and if I need to cut off other sounds, I'd love to have this, especially with the wind noise around or, or you know, if I have like crowds talking, chatting, whatever. It's actually a good thing to have a low pass filter on and oh my gosh, my arm is tired. I'm gonna put this down now. So there you have it guys, that's my initial thoughts on the MKE 440. And to be honest, I'm super excited to continue to create more content using this mic this time uh, as much as possible. I want you guys to have the best possible visual and audio experience when you're watching my vlogs. So I will continue to use this mic and these, this big <laughs> setup with all my lenses. That makes my arm really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, before I forget, my favorite tweeter of the day is Jan Marlowe here. Thank you so much, man. I super appreciate the fact that, you know, um, you support me and I'm glad to have introduced you to the world of YouTube and vloggers and all of that. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, if you guys want to be featured on the next vlog, just make sure to tweet me at CaliforniaMackie. Or you could also follow me on Instagram. I'm very active there. I do photography, so you guys might want to follow me there also and usually if i'm not vlogging because you know i get really busy with school and work if i'm not vlogging i'm usually micro vlogging on my instagram story so you could see all the shenanigans with me with my brother with my sister or with my friends over there so yeah follow all right so that's it for this vlog thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like the content please like if you guys want to see more content please subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace if I could take you up in boom, boom, boosh, boom, boom, tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart.